Hey guys, today I want to celebrate the little guy, the unsung heroes of our Final Cut Pro community. I know we always talk about like the big third party plugins from let's say Motion VFX, but there are small creators out there that are doing some really cool things for us Final Cut Pro users. So today I kind of want to shine a spotlight on these guys and show you some of the very cool templates and effects that they have created for Final Cut Pro. The first one is Brett Williams from Brett FX. He created this great plugin called Outliner. Let me show you how it works. So what's cool about Outliner is that it works in a few different ways. The first way you could use it is by rotoscoping out an image and applying one of these effects to the video clips. So I'm going to take this flow rider surfing shot and I'm going to hold down the option key and click and drag to make a duplicate. Now in this particular shot, I've tried using Keeper and the scene removal mask that is native to Final Cut Pro, but I found that I had the best result using the M Roto AI effect from Motion VFX to really cut this guy off the background. So now that I've got our surfer cut out here, all I have to do is drop one of these very cool outliner effects onto my rotoscoped clip. And I can make adjustments here in the inspector window. So I'm going to change the placement to outside. I can change the offset and the inner glow. And of course I can change the color of the outline, but I really like this neon green, so I'm going to leave it. And this result is really great. That's one way to use Outliner, but there's a few different ways as well. Here under the Titles and Generators browser, you also get a series of titles from Brett FX. You can make custom shapes with Outliner or they have these custom preset shapes that you can modify. Conveniently, I have a shot of a wine glass here. Let's drop this title onto our wine glass. And in my viewer, I'm going to zoom way out of my shot. And then I'm just going to reposition this wine shape around my wine glass in the title inspector. If I turn on points and transform, I can play with the shape of my outline to match the shape of my video. I'm going to modify the color as well. And once I've got this all lined up the way I want it, what I'm going to do next is actually select my B-roll clip and let's add a tracker. I'm going to track this logo on the glass. And then I'm going to select my outliner title again, enable my transform tools, assign that new object track. And now we have this fun outline on our wine glass. The last way that you can use outliner is with a green screenshot. So I am going to cue up my playhead to this composition here. You might recognize this if you saw my chroma key tutorial for Final Cut Pro. I'll add a card in the top right of the screen if you missed that video. But we can see that this woman who was shot over a blue background is actually cut out using the green screen cure effect native to Final Cut Pro. Now all I'm going to do is drop one of these effects onto our subject again. And so that is the third way to use the outliner tools from Brett Effects. These are really nice. I think they work great in conjunction with some of the native effects to Final Cut Pro or some other third party effects that you have purchased that you have in your system like Keeper, like the M Roto AI from Motion VFX. I will link to outliner and all of the plugins I talk about today down in the description. And Brett Effects has been kind enough to offer you guys a discount code if you want to check it out. Let's move on to the next small plugin creator that I think you need to know about. You've probably seen him lurking around in the Final Cut Pro and Apple Motion Facebook groups. His name is Rohan Marks and he is a Kiwi from New Zealand who is such an expert in Final Cut Pro and so helpful to anyone who posts a question in one of those groups. He created Line Magic. Line Magic is a series of animating titles with auto resizing boxes behind them. And it's the kind of thing that you could create yourself in Final Cut Pro or Motion, but doing all of this line work would be really time consuming. And why? When Rohan Marks has already created all of these great templates for you. So each of this title templates has a different animation style. Let me just show you how easy these are to use. I'm going to drop it over this shot here. And then in this text field, let's enter in our content. And of course you can change the font. In the text inspector, you can increase the scale and the alignment and the on-screen position. And then back in the title inspector is where you can change the color of your background boxes. And you can see each line animates in so nicely and builds out as well. 
The next creator I want to highlight is Dason Ortiz. He's another one you may see in those Facebook groups. Dason is the mind behind Motion Master Templates. And this title I'm about to show you is his most popular template. It is called Photo and Video Slideshow Maker. This one is so easy to use. I'm just going to drop it down here in my timeline. And you'll see in my inspector, there are a bunch of drop zones. You can fill these drop zones with either photos or videos. I'm just gonna go in and fill in all of these drop zones with these still images. So each title has up to seven images. And so that's the default look on this slideshow. But in this inspector, there's so many things you can do. First up, you can change the direction in which the images fly in. So that would be, let's say, from the right. This one would be from the top. You can also change how fast the images drop in with the animation speed. And the grouping will kind of control the spread of how many photos come in at once. So if I slide the grouping value low, you'll see that each photo kind of drops in more one by one. And then if I crank up that grouping, they're all gonna come in together. Another thing that I think is really cool about this template is that you can stack them on top of each other. In my first drop zone, I'm going to drop this image, and then I'm going to change my photo count to just one. Again, in the title inspector, let's go down to the background and turn down the opacity all the way. Now I can see all of those photos underneath and I'm going to reposition this main photo in the center of my frame. And then on the animation, I'm going to set it to none. I'm going to turn on drop on. So it's actually going to come center screen from the camera and let's turn on that depth of field amount. And I'm gonna crank up that animation speed a lot because I just have one photo. And so now my main photo lands center screen. Now this title template also comes with some effects as well. And if I apply this effect to this title and head over to the video inspector, there's all these other effects that you can apply to your slideshow. This title template is such an easy way to create that collage effect. I think if you work in the wedding world, your clients are really gonna love this. And don't forget that you can add live action video to those drop zones as well. All right, the last creator I wanna highlight is my friend, Ian Anderson from Australia. Ian was a speaker at the Final Cut Pro Creative Summit this past November, and he is a master 3D animator. He has a great effect for Final Cut Pro called Picture in Picture. Picture in Picture is this collection of shape masks in a variety of shapes, and they're so easy to use. So let me show you how I would use this. I've got this like commercial kitchen shot here. What I'm going to do is drop in this pouring martini shot, and now I'm going to apply this circular effect. And so by default, this is the look we get. You can see it animates in and animates out. If we head on over to the inspector window, we can enable the build in or build out, which I'm going to leave those enabled. I can reposition my content. I can reduce my outline width. And you can even change the animation style. If I wanna reposition or rescale this image within my frame, I would head over to the transform tools and reposition this where I see fit. And then I'm going to stack even more video clips on top of this using the picture in picture effect. So for me, if you have a lot of B-roll for a project and you wanna cram it all in, these kinds of picture and picture effects are great for maximizing all of the cool stuff that you shot. Like I said, I will link to all of these templates down below in the description box. Thank you to these great creators for supporting the Final Cut Pro community. And thank you for watching all the way to the end. I picked out some other videos I know you're gonna love. I'll see you again.